this is the only copywriting guide that you need to hit 10K a month. Because in this video, I'm going to be leaving nothing out and giving away everything from how I actually get clients, how I look for clients, where I look for clients, and everything in between. So without any further ado, let's hop right into us. This is the only copywriting guide you will ever need. As you can see, we are going to be covering the perfect launch pad, how to build the perfect launch pad and start your copywriting journey, the best niches to start in and which niches you want to avoid, prospecting, outreach follow-up, and it also how to deliver stellar results so that you can make as much money for your clients and you can make as much money as you can as a copywriter. So starting your journey. The first thing, of course, you're going to want to know is does this copywriting thing work? Okay. And this is going to be the main thing on your mind. And the answer is, well, I'm not actually going to answer it. I'm going to let you decide for yourself. Okay. So for example, we have this video here where I actually did a video of a guy that I coached to $18,600 every single month with copywriting. And then I have a couple of copywriting wins here that you can see for yourself. I'm not actually going to read them out or anything. You can pause the video, scroll through the video, do whatever you want. But there is an overwhelming amount of proof that this copywriting thing works and it's worked for so many people before in the past. And again, yes, it's worked for me as well. And the reason why this is so important to answer this in your first little bit as a copywriter is because when you start, it's not going to be as easy as you feel like it should be, right? It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Maybe you're not going to make progress as quickly as you would like. But guys, I need to let you guys understand that it might be difficult, especially at first, but it is more than worth it, okay? So, the first thing that you're going to want to do to actually start the whole copywriting thing, of course, is to master the basics because learning is not enough. You're going to need to actually put yourself in the arena of copywriting and start doing, okay? And that's exactly where this video comes in, actually this playlist. So this is a complete full playlist on video after video after video, okay? These are the long courses that you can watch that you can actually start mastering the basics of copywriting. I actually go through and give you examples, everything about what copywriting looks like. I take the, co the top copywriting examples from the top social media guys in the actual game right now, and then I break them down line by line and show you exactly why they say the things that they do, how they actually come up with the ideas, and everything else in between. Then we need to, again, develop the belief and become optimistic versus pessimistic because I'm just going to hit you where the rubber meets the road. Having a great mindset and being optimistic is not going to let you do everything, but it will let you do everything better than a negative mindset will or a pessimistic outlook. Essentially, if you come in and nurture the belief that you can make it, you can do it, and you will achieve, and you will hit 10K a month, and you speak it into existence, then of course you're going to hit it eventually. When, whether it's five months versus nine months versus two years, I mean, who really cares what the difference is, okay? Because in five years, you're just going to be happy that you started and happy that you stuck with it and are making 10K a month every single month from now. Now, also, you need to understand that where attention goes, energy flows. And you also need to balance consumption with action. And that's where this playlist comes in. This essentially is a complete playlist, as you can see, of 90 separate copywriting videos that I have published. 90 long form videos. Now, as you can see, it has 35,000 views. So people are watching it and consuming it every single day. And the reason why is because if you just start consuming and focusing on copywriting all the time, uh, eventually it's going to become the number one thing occupied in your mind. You're going to become obsessed with it and you're going to make progress 10 times faster than the people who are just doing this casually. Okay. You're going to be progressing exponentially as quick. So the other thing that I need to mention is that you need to balance consumption with action. So no, I don't expect you to sit around and watch eight hours of video every single day. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are spending time doing other things that you don't need to be spending time on. For example, if you're sitting around watching Game of Thrones all day, you can replace that with just watching copywriting videos. So here's the actual description uh, that perfectly encapsulates what this playlist is meant for. Basically, the Netflix for copywriters. If you want to get yourself up to speed fast when it comes to copywriting, then this is the playlist for you. All right. Long and short of it. Next, you want to do what other people won't because 95% of the people are lazy. If you look at the videos when it comes to copywriting, you'll see, oh, this video has 600,000 views. This video has 100,000 views. So there are hundreds of thousands of people who want to become copywriters out here. The answer is yes, but 
Understand that 95% of the people aren't even getting past the watching video stage. They're going to watch a whole bunch of copywriting videos. They're going to try to get good at it. And then they're going to be like, ah, oh, well, maybe this isn't for me. The grass is always greener on the other side. So maybe I'll try social media marketing agencies. Maybe I'll try Amazon FBA. Maybe I'll try drop shipping or, you know, whatever else is hot or whatever else, you know, really pushes my dopamine buttons. They're not actually going to commit to it. That means if you are really seriously willing to commit and you are ready to do it, no holds barred, no matter what, you're willing to actually weather the storm through thick and thin, of course you're going to be ahead of 95% of people and you're going to be one of the top copywriters in the game. Next of all, think of this almost like a self-improvement journey or a training arc. The work works on you more than you work on it, okay? So the type of person that you're going to transform into and you're going to become when you start making 10K a month is going to be absolutely astounding, okay? It's crazy how much it changes you because I remember when I first started on this journey, I was a completely different person. I was, I was just, I don't even want to... I don't even want to reveal it. It's almost a little bit embarrassing. But I mean, yeah, I was one of the lazy ones. I, I really didn't have much going for me. But it wasn't until I changed myself and became a 10K a month type of person that I started making a lot of money with copywriting. Next, I need to reveal the oversaturation myth, okay? So here's a perfect example. This is from the book, um, the book $100 Million Leads by Alex Hormozzi. As you can see, he has a perfect diagram here of the size of the pie fallacy. All right. So here's how most people think it is. As you can see, there's me. I have the full pie, but here's me plus one competitor. Now we're only able to share 50 50. And then I have three competitors. So now I'm only able to share with three other people and I'll never grow bigger than that. This is a fallacy and it is not true. So if you've ever heard somebody talk about, oh, this is oversaturated. There's too many people already doing this. You really need to just dig not not even very deep to understand that that's a complete lie. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. OK, if you have an IQ over 32, then you're going to be able to understand that oversaturation is a complete myth, because as you can see, all you really need to ask yourself is who has my client? Because someone out there has your client. They have the client that should be working for you. And here's the thing. Let's say there's a million copywriters out there who are making a bunch of money with copywriting. Okay, great. In the next two months, 60 days, there are going to be multiple, multiple, multiple job openings because either the copywriters are going to get, uh, they're going to get fired or the copywriters are going to move up in the company and not going to be copywriting anymore. Or the copywriters are going to need more teammates to help them write more copy. Or the copywriter could just quit copywriting altogether and say, well, I want to move on to this other thing or I want to build my own business or anything. There are so many different ways that copywriting positions become open. OK, so if something's oversaturated, now you have to think, all right, well, at some point, it's unlikely to think that Every single one of those copywriters is going to stick with their client literally forever. Of course, there's going to be more job openings. Of course, there's going to be new businesses built every single day that are going to eventually need copywriters. And that is where you come in. Oversaturation is a complete myth. As long as capitalism exists and you can find businesses who want to make more money, then over, oversaturation is really not something to concern yourself with. It's, it's not something you need to worry about. Next of all, we need to talk about niche and understand niche. It's more about what niches you avoid than which niche you pick. And that's, that's a lot of what I talk about in this video. I reveal the top five best niches and also the top five worst niches that you want to avoid in 2023 and 2024. OK, now the thing with niche is that a lot of people think that, especially when they're start first starting out, they think that niche will be their smoking gun. Niche is going to be the answer that they need to have to actually get a whole bunch of clients. When in reality, that's not actually true. Every single niche sucks. Every single niche sucks, just like every single way to make money online sucks. None of them are easy. They all suck equally, but you can essentially pick your poison. All right. So the thing is that sure, copywriting isn't free money, just like drop shipping isn't free money, just like day trading is not free money. None of it is free money. All of it takes a certain amount of work and skill to complete and start making money. But the thing with copywriting is that it has a certain number of benefits that you actually chose over all those other things and that I actually chose over all of those other things. OK, so it's the same with niche. With niche, all most of them suck. Most of them are hard to actually get clients in. OK, so don't think that there's some magical niche where you start outreaching to people and nine times out of ten, you're getting clients on all your outreaches. It just doesn't work like that. 
The perfect niche will be one that's proven, meaning that other copywriters have made money in it, and one that you understand to a certain level. I'll tell you this. I outreached to a whole bunch of people and never got anybody, but the one way I was actually able to get clients and get clients that are high paying was by outreaching to business coaches. The thing with business coaches is that at the time, I didn't know anything about business. I didn't know, I didn't know how to get leads or how to do whole sales funnels or anything crazy like that. I mean, that was way above my pay grade. I didn't know how to do any of it. So when I started working with these clients, it was really, really hard at first, okay? So this was a great type of niche to reach out to, but it was really, really hard to write for as I actually went on, started writing for them more and more and more. I started learning more and started becoming a lot easier. But at first, it was really hard, okay? So you're going to want to actually pick things that you understand. That was a mistake that I made in the beginning. So you don't want to start outreaching to, you know, day trading coaches if you don't know anything about day trading. You don't know anything about stocks or Forex or crypto or whatever they're selling. Because essentially, you might make your copy sound a little bit dumb. You might make these small mistakes. And of course, if you are writing copy for a business that's supposed to be a professional and supposed to know exactly what they're talking about, you can actually end up costing them money and they're not going to want to work with you long term. All right. Just like I said, there is no easy niche slash path. They are all dookie. Stick to one and avoid niche hopping so you can track your variables. So tracking is one of those things, like I said, that 95% of copywriters are way too lazy to do. They don't want to track what they've been doing or what's been working. What they want to do is just try every single outreach on every single niche, do every single follow-up method, every single everything, throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks so that when one thing works, they don't know why it works. They don't know if they need to go back and do that exact same thing again or, or what, okay? Now they have no actual data to pull from. Whereas here's what I do. I work with one niche, one outreach, one system. It was one everything. I do that for a month and I see, okay, I didn't get any clients that month. Let's try something else. And I change one thing, okay? I don't change my outreach and my niche and my this because then I don't know which one works. The reason why is because if I change the niche and then I start getting better results, now I know, okay, I got to keep this niche, but maybe I need to change my outreach. Because now I change my outreach, then I get even more clients, okay? This is, by process of elimination, how you find the best outreach and niche for you, all right? Because... I mean, here's what everybody does, okay? They go and they hop in the free Discord server and they ask, hey guys, what's the best outreach method? That doesn't make any sense, okay? There is no necessarily best for everyone, but there is a best for you. And the only way for you to figure that out is to start outreaching. The faster you fail, the faster you can start succeeding. The only reason anybody else has succeeded more than you have is because they have failed more than you have. The only reason why copywriter A has gotten a 3K month client and copywriter B has not because copywriter A has been doing it for longer and they've sent more outreaches and been rejected more. This is how it is. This should take no longer than 24 hours. You don't need to sit around and, and read tarot cards and look at your astrology and see, okay, well, I'm a Gemini, so I should start outreaching to this person. Like, you don't, you, it doesn't have to be a super long process, okay? 24 hours is all you really need to figure it out and find yourself and pick which niche you want to outreach to. Do not stall with this. Next, you want to stick to a niche that you've worked with, all right? And people, because people want specialists instead of generalists. So, if you start getting clients in the fitness niche, for example, you don't want to then move to finance and then move to a different niche. The reason being is because people want specialists. They want people who say, yeah, I work with fitness coaches to get them clients and make them more money. OK, that's what your offer wants to be. And they want to see that you've worked with fitness coaches in the past because it's a very, very easy objection for people to have. If you work with nothing but fitness coaches, you reach out to this finance guy, he's going to be like, well, you only really know how to make money for fitness coaches. You only really written copy for fitness coaches. What are you trying to do with a finance guy? I don't really know if I'm going to do that. I want to go with somebody else who actually works with finance people. And then next, of course, is actually finding potential clients to service by mastering prospecting. So first and foremost, you should try every platform that you know. OK, so what do I mean by that? LinkedIn and Twitter are two things I've literally never bothered with. Right. I never had a Twitter account or X, <laughs> I guess, whatever you want to call it. And the same with LinkedIn. I've never used LinkedIn. But some people live on LinkedIn. Like LinkedIn is their thing. They're always on LinkedIn. The same with Twitter. And if that's you and you know how, that, how they work, then it would be worth actually going through and seeing uh, how you can get clients on them. All right. So I actually have made a full two-hour outreach course on how to get clients on 
YouTube, Instagram, TikTok as well. Um, I've talked about all of those and I've also shared all of my outreach methods and all of my follow-up methods and exactly what I do and exactly what I've done before to get clients in the past and everything of that nature. So if you want to know exactly how to do that, this video is the video for you. Also, if you want a more Instagram driven approach, this is the video here uh, for you. Next up, we need to talk about qualifying, okay? Don't waste time reaching out to everyone. This is wasted time and effort, okay? You need to qualify who you're outreaching to. So who is your ideal prospect? Okay, so who is, who is the best person for you to outreach to? So you want to work with people who ideally have an email list that makes them money and have worked with a copywriter before and have an online digital product and already has a social media presence and a marketing budget. Okay, if they have all these things, then they're going to be the ideal client for you to reach out to. Now, understand that you're not going to know if they've worked with a copywriter before, but you will be able to know if... They are making money with copywriting. You look at their sales pages, you look at the emails that they're sending out to their email list, and you can see um, if they're making money currently with copywriting. Because if they are, then that means all you need to do is come into their business, optimize the copywriting that's already there, add some other copywriting ideas, and boom, now you're making them more money than they were before, and now they're going to be able to pay you. Next is understand that automatic lead finders and lead scrapers and these AI prospecting tools, nine times out of 10 are garbage. They're going to give you these dookie balls leads that you, you're going to like outreach to and you'd be like, oh, well, look at me. I just got 500 leads in five seconds. And it's like, yeah, okay. Have fun outreaching to those people because they, they don't want, <laughs> first of all, okay, so here's the thing. The thing with these automatic lead scrapers is that everybody goes to them, everybody uses them and everybody outreaches to them. So every single person on these lead finder, scraper, whatever, they're going to be outreached to 3,000 times every single day, okay? It's going to be really hard to cut through the noise. You might as well just do it manually, um, and that's by far the best way to do it. So next is that there's no such thing as running out of prospects, and I hear this all the time. Tyson, what do I do when I run out of prospects? I've already outreached to everybody in my niche. It's easy. You go back to the top of the list, <laughs> and then you outreach to everybody again. This is called follow-up, all right? Follow-up is where the money is at when it comes to getting clients. Now, Again, speaking of follow-up, speak of the devil, outreach slash follow-up, getting on sales calls, extremely important. So what you're going to want to do is pick an outreach method and test it for at least 30 days. All right. So here's what I actually show you step-by-step -step how to get clients. So I, I open up my phone, I let you look over my shoulder and show you how I DM clients, how I find clients and everything in between. All right. So again, you want to pick a method and test it for at least 30 days. Then you want to start small and focus on consistency. First, it takes will, and then it takes skill. And then I want to show you the lottery mindset diagram, all right? So here's what it is. Which would you rather, you watching this, option A, okay? This is the lottery. A one in a million chance and 40 tickets a day. So on average, this would take you 25,000 days to get a client. Or would you rather option B, a one in a thousand chance, but only 10 tickets a day. This gives you a 100 days till you get a client on average. Now, of course, the answer should be simple, right? Option B, because you're gonna get more clients. But the problem is that a lot of copywriters or freelancers focus on option A. They say, okay, I have a one in a million chance and I'm sending 40 tickets a day. How can I send 50 tickets a day? Instead of asking, okay, how can I get this from one in a million chance to one in a thousand chance? Okay, so let me actually bring it back to copywriting now that I've actually taught you that. So with copywriting, you have quality and you have quantity when it comes to outreach. A lot of people focus on quantity. They say, okay, I want to send 10 billion outreaches every single day and then I'll get a client. If I just spam out as many outreaches as possible, automate it, I use this AI here and I, and I use this software there, then I can just send out as many as I can. And I mean, that's the problem. <laughs> the problem is essentially that every single one of those outreaches is going to be dookie because they're going to be unpersonalized and they're going to be, they're just going to look like spam. Okay. So you're going to want to try to reach option B if you can and actually increase your chances and understand again that the money is in the follow up. If you guys want to know a complete follow up uh, course and follow up guide, then this video is going to be the one for you. Again, 
This has a whole bunch of links in this document. So I'm going to leave this document somewhere down below in the description of this video so that you can get um, in-depth information on every single thing that I'm talking about here. Next is to implement slight innovation into every single outreach and understand diminishing returns. So if I show you an outreach that's worked for me in the past and I've gotten clients with, the problem is that now everybody's going to be using that outreach. So if you're, if you're a prospect out there, have a business, and for whatever reason, you've gotten five different outreaches from different people, but they all say the same thing, you're going to be like, okay, all these dudes are carbon copies of each other. And I'm not going to work with any of them because they're all saying the same thing and have the same message. So what you're going to want to do, again, is to innovate. Innovate slightly, okay? You don't need to reinvent the wheel, but you can take all the outreach that I've shown you, all the outreach scripts, solve everything, mishmash them into your own thing, and then you start outreaching, okay? That's what you need to do. And that's essentially how you become original and start getting more clients than the dudes who are just copying and pasting. Because again, like I said, 95% of people are lazy. Now, you're going to want to focus on volume at first and then quality in order to land a premium a premium client. Okay, so here's how it works. You're going to start off with a one in a million chance and 40 outreaches a day. Maybe, maybe you start off as that. You're going to start, you know, keep outreaching every single day and start chipping away at increasing your chances by improving your outreach, improving your outreach, improving your outreach. If something works, if something gets more replies or if something closes you more clients than usual, then you're going to want to keep that one thing and then test something else and then keep that one thing and then test something else and then keep that one thing and start slowly increasing your chances over time. And that's essentially what the process looks like. Then things that will increase your chances, for example, are a better outreach, more experience slash results that you can pr pull from and a low risk offer. Okay. So essentially just meaning that your outreach is more personalized or it's higher quality or it's better, or it's more effective. Next is more experience slash results. If you're able to say, Hey, I've worked with this big industry leader and I've gotten a um, hundred thousand dollars every single month just from email, then, you know, you're going to be much more trustworthy. Another thing you can throw in there is a low risk offer, okay? Working for free or working for cheap for a period of time is something that's going to get people to let you get your foot in the door so you can make more money with them down the line. Next of all, Tyson, uh, what to do when you get on a sales call, okay? So if you want to learn the basics, I would say watch this video right here. Um, closing copywriting clients live a breakdown where I actually break down somebody's sales call where they were trying to close a copywriting client. And I give you a whole bunch of tips and pointers on that. But Tyson, what do I do if I have no experience? And the answer is to use it to your advantage. So if you have no experience, I will go ahead and watch this video, how to get your first copywriting client in 30 days with no experience. So the reason why I say to use it to your advantage is this, okay? And this is not only a business lesson, but also a life lesson. You're going to see yourself as having these disadvantages. But realistically, these disadvantages, as you might see them, are actually advantages and you can use them as such. Let me give you an example. I was doing a coaching call recently where a guy was asking me, well, Tyson, how do I build authority since I'm only 16 and I look like a kid, I have no beard and whatnot and what have you? Well, the reason being is because th you see this as your disadvantage that you're young when realistically it can be used to your advantage. Let me give you an example. You could say, hey, I made 5K a month, 7K a month, 8K a month, 10K a month or whatever from copywriting and I'm only 15 or I'm only 16. That is a flex. Now other people are going to be like, wow, that's inspiring. If this young dude can do it, then that means that I can do it. So now more people are actually going to be listening to you, whereas you might see it as a disadvantage in reality, it can be used for your advantage. Another example, I'm somebody who's been copywriting for around two years now, and I've made a lot of money with copywriting, and I've gotten really into it, and I've uh, become you know, one of the industry leaders when it comes to copywriting influencers, if you want to call it that, okay? So some people might see that as a disadvantage. So my competitors might say, oh, well, I've been copywriting for 15 years, and Tyson, he's only been copywriting for two years. He has no idea what he's talking about, so you should listen to me. Whereas I can say, hey, I've come out here and done all these things in only two years, and I have basically speed ran my way to the top, so that's why you should listen to me instead of the other guys who are old and grumpy and who've been doing it for 20 years, okay? So again, two sides of the same coin. Every disadvantage you can use to your advantage. Now, when it comes to you having having no experience. Of course, you're going to see it as a disadvantage, but you can use it to your advantage. For example, you can say, look, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have much experience with this. Um, I haven't worked with a ton of clients before, but that's exactly 
why I want to prove to you that I can make you money before I actually ask for anything in return. Or that's exactly what I want to prove to you I can make you money so that I just want to ask for a quick testimonial so that once I make you money, I can just ask you for a testimonial and then I can use it to actually get more clients. Does that sound fair enough? And now, of course, because you used your lack of experience to your advantage as a justification as to why they should give you a chance, now you're going to be closing way more clients and getting your foot in the door and making them money at first so that you can actually jumpstart your copywriting career. Because if you make the money, they're not going to want to stop working with you. They're going to want to keep working with you, okay? So that's exactly how you can get clients with no experience by using your lack of experience as your advantage. So... Next is possibly the most important part, which is delivering stellar results and scaling. As long as you're learning plus practicing, the skill really does take care of itself, okay? If you want to become a good copywriter, all it really comes down to is practicing copy, learning about copy, and just completing copywriting tasks for your clients, all right? Now, if you want the full explanation of how I write copy, you can watch this video, which is titled, Watch Me Write 10K a Month Email Copy. Um, essentially, I just let you look over my shoulder as I write copy for my clients that will make them thousands of dollars every single month. So as long as you practice and learn and, and do your thing, the skill will take care of itself. All right. And you need to build this skill as you go. Next, when starting out, AI is your best friend. OK, maybe maybe English isn't your first language or, you know, you're not that great at writing English or you're just not that great at copy in general. This video is a must watch the free AI copywriting course on my channel. The reason why is because. Man, AI will literally smoothen out all of the wrinkles in your copy, all right? You're going to have some big blaring <laughs> mistakes, and AI is going to be able to smooth that out with a, a, just a couple of really easy prompts that anybody can use. Next, to understand the concept of email marketing. Sure, you know how to write copy, but you're going to want to understand email and email marketing as well. That's where this free email copywriting course comes in that I have uploaded on my channel. Next is to understand the concept of sales funnels because sales funnels are important too when you're writing sales pages and writing VSLs and things like that. And that's the video that you're gonna watch, gonna wanna watch, the free sales funnel course on my channel. And look, nobody is willing to pay for a gym membership that they don't use, a car that, that, that doesn't drive, or a copywriter that doesn't make them money. I need to stress that the fastest way for you to make money as a copywriter is to make your clients money. All right. Not only prove it to them, but also prove it to yourself. If you're the copywriter who's been able to make people 10, 20, 50, $100,000 every single month just with email, just with copywriting, then that's bragging rights for you. OK, so not only are other people gaining, gaining confidence in you, but you're also gaining confidence in yourself, which goes a very long way. Anyways, guys, that has been the only copywriting guy that you ever will need to start copywriting and start or start making over six figures every single year as a freelance copywriter. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. And of course, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.